Yeah, CBS 2 Sports with Zach Hamley. Hard to believe that basketball season is right around the corner. The Iowa men tip off their season in just 15 days, and that means there's not a lot of time left to get the Young Hawks game ready. Fran McCaffrey knows that his six freshmen have quite the learning curve ahead of them, and to get them ready for the battles they'll be having in the Big Ten, let's just say Fran's been pretty passionate in their practices thus far. I've at least heard, obviously heard from uh, upperclassmen that he can get on guys and stuff like that, but the main thing is just taking away from what he's trying to say. Or it may come in a different tone, but you got to realize what he's trying to say in the big picture. Well, everything that we mess up on is a learning experience, so they, they tell us that, you know, um, with whatever words they choose to use. But <laughs> <laughs> Qualifying for the state meet is nothing new for a Sandy Sabelka coach cross-country team, but this year at Denver, it's a little different, and not because of what our teams have done on the course. Sandy Sabelka, our Ed Thomas Coach of the Week. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, go. Cross country to Sandy Sabelka is more than a sport. Watch out, breathing. This is kind of my life right now, and it's what keeps me going, and it kind of gives me a purpose every day. She's pretty much like an after-school program that we just go. She takes care of us. She feeds us. <laughs> but more importantly, Sabelka has taught them to be thankful. Be thankful for everything you can do. Be thankful that you can get up out of, the, out of bed every morning and be healthy and just being positive and just take every day as a blessing. And her runners have taken that to heart. I want you to run like that all week, go in with confidence. Over the summer, Savelka suddenly lost her husband and that's when the team... Keep your eyes right on him. Don't let him get away. ...rallied around their coach raising $3,000 for Team Sabelka. Once we all heard, we knew we had to do something. We, we knew we had to let her know we were there for her, because she's always been there for us. I hope that we reminded her that she also has a family in us and in our team that is right behind her all the way. And then as fate would have it, back on the course. Don't have to speed up, but don't slow down. Both the boys and girls teams qualified for state. I just made it that much more that we could come and do that well, especially in her time of need after the summer she had. This group is always going to go down in my books as being pretty special because um, they've just been amazing. Just like their coach. High school volleyball, Springville hosting Belle Plaine in their regional semifinal and BP came out firing. Kenzie Matz gets up to get down. Plainsmen were fired up after that, but Springville is ranked third in 1A for a reason. The O is set up Samantha Johnson and she hammers it home for the kill. And then later in the set, it's basketball teammates Mikhail and Hazel with the assist to Riley Menster. Nate Sanderson likes the sound of that, and Springville would like this. They advance to the regional finals with a sweep. And that's it for sports. Terry's back with one last look at your forecast after the break.